Hello, welcome or welcome back. I am Refab Fashion. I'm a part-time uh, reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. And I sell men's and women's clothing and accessories and shoes, sometimes some other hard goods. Um, and today I wanna review my fastest sales from the month of February. If you've been watching my What Sold videos week by week, some of these will be familiar to you, but I wanted to collect all in one place you know, what's selling the fastest, uh, what buyers are interested in, and what's selling quickly on these platforms. So I had a few here that took less than or up to one week to sell. Uh, so I'll just review one by one here. Uh, on Poshmark, one of the items was a pair of new with tags, uh, loft or Ann Taylor loft, um, black pants. They were skinny, tapered, ankle length, and a size 12. This came from a family member, so I didn't thrift a, this, um, but I listed it. I think I had it at $30, received an offer for 20 and decided to accept it. This was a one day sale. So I think people who um, you know, need work pants, this is what I consider them to be, kind of basic black work pants. People need to replace those from time to time, or maybe they have one pair. They, you know, they know the brand, they know their size, they know the style that they like. So I think it's an easy purchase for some of these more basic office type pieces. This brand I have not found too often, but one day thrifting this year, I found three pair of Frank and Eileen Wicklow pants, which are cropped. They have a frayed uh, raw hem to them. Um, this is a lightweight kind of chino material, lightweight cotton, uh, navy blue, a size six. And um, I had this listed at 125 uh, with a discount. Somebody accepted my offer on Poshmark for $106 uh, just in one day. This I also thrifted in the new year. I had never, well, I did come across this brand before, but it was priced too high. It was a very basic plain dress, so I passed. Um, but the Great uh, is a good quality brand. People are searching for it. This also was a pretty fun piece uh, with this heart stitch detail to the front, balloon sleeves. Uh, this was a size small. I was able to find the stock photos the name of it, um, a few had been listed and sold. Uh, and this was a quick sale as well for my full asking price of $150. Arcteryx I love to pick up. This is a pretty basic um, athletic outdoors layering piece, uh, just a synthetic material, lightweight, blue, long sleeve, a women's large. And this sold pretty fast as well. I think I had it listed at 60 and had a discount there, maybe $59 with a discount. Uh, so for $51, this sold pretty fast as well. Uh, I thought this might take longer being such a basic piece, but it's good to know that, you know, this time of year, people are really looking for those layering pieces as it gets warmer. So the pants that are convertible and kind of zip off or can roll up, um, and then the kind of light or mid-weight layering, so not the fleece layers, but these kind of more thin pieces that people can layer up. Uh, and then as it gets warmer throughout the day on their hike or outdoors, you know, they can regulate their temperature. On Mercari, um, Offline by Aerie is a brand that I'll pick up for the right price, about $5 or so, knowing that it sells pretty fast. And on the list here, these sold pretty fast. This is a pair of black, uh, I think size medium. It's the crossover waist, which is really the only style I'd look for. I recently found some flare pants and, and those are doing well, uh, but these don't sell for too much. Somebody made me an offer for $18, which I did accept on Mercari. Mercari only has a 10% fee plus some other, I think, um, payment processing fee or something, but uh, generally less than, definitely less than Poshmark's 20% and generally less than eBay's percentage. Uh, so on Mercari, which is about half of the time where these will sell for me is on Mercari. Um, so I don't mind listing, you know, buying around five, six dollars, having it sell for 18 or 20 pretty fast, a lower fee on Mercari. Um, these, this is kind of what I expected from this item when I bought it. 
This is a Torrid Outlander piece, uh, which is a line of Torrid that I really do enjoy seeking out and finding. I was able to find the stock photo, the name of the item. It's this um, kind of semi-sheer floral print, tunic, um, high-low hem, roll tab sleeves. And this sold the same day, I believe, as it was listed. The buyer did make me an offer, which I accepted. I paid up for this. I bought it on ThreadUp website, and uh, I think it was for $10 or maybe $13. And um, so I, I more than doubled my money, uh, but for a one-day sale, that I'm very happy with that. On eBay, this I was surprised about. I recently thrifted this thinking they were men's pants, and then when I looked up the style code, found that they were women's, a cropped, kind of this mustard gold, uh, they called it brandy, but it was a uh, corduroy pant, which I usually think of more for fall time. But this was a one day sale as well, a great size, size 30, a newer style from J. Crew, vintage slim straight. Yep, fall of 2021. So I was able to look up the style code right away and find all the details. Um, there were some others listed in this color so I'm, that's, uh, you know, I'm not always intimidated if there's a lot listed, especially if I feel that I can provide a better description, better um, photos, you know, the, than what's listed. Sometimes that gives you the edge, um, but also being a new listing that gets bumped up to people's search return. So that's why it's good to do new listings all the time and also to delist and relist on your stale listings. It bumps it up to the top of the search. So even if there are others, somebody might decide to purchase yours first. This is a brand I'm not familiar with. I picked this up based on style. It's a lightweight. I, it actually was missing the size tag and the materials tag. Um, but it's kind of this art to wear painted piece. It feels like a linen cotton blend. The brand is Ani H. A H and I. When I looked up uh, for pricing and doing more research on eBay, it doesn't command a lot of money. Um, so I was happy when I uh, got an offer on this. It didn't sell for that, it um, sold for less, but I got an offer um, again within one week. So I decided to accept that offer and move on from this piece. I should have checked it over a little bit better. Um, the place where I found this is a very small community thrift shop, so I don't really like to advertise that I'm a reseller. I don't try to hide it, but um, I try to be discreet. So I do some comp checking, but in this store, I mostly check for condition. And when I'm in there, I don't do a lot of um, looking up on my phone. I'll do a little bit if I really don't know the brand. Uh, but this, given the style and the other things I've been selling, I decided to go for it. But I probably won't pick this brand up again even though it sold quickly. And finally, in the month of February, this Ibex piece sold very fast. Um, this is a layering piece, a super fine merino wool, um, like thin uh, knit. Uh, it's a performance wool, so very breathable. Um, it's this beige color. There's the logo there. Uh, this is a great brand, even if there were holes, this piece didn't have any holes or stains. Um, the only kind of downside, it, it was a little bit pilly, a little worn, and it did smell like sunscreen, a women's large. Um, but this sold pretty fast, which I would expect, and for a good price, given that it's a layering piece and that I noted the sunscreen smell, which not everybody would have wanted. So. I was happy with that quick sale and definitely keep, I like to pick up Ibex. I just found another sweater dress. Uh, so even though we're kind of heading out of winter season, I'm, I will always pick up this brand any time of year. So I hope that's helpful to you. Um, I think, you know, the what solds are helpful, but I like this um, idea of each month compiling the fastest sales just to really boil down and give you a sense of what our buyers looking for. Uh, what's selling quickly so that hopefully that helps you make decisions when you're out deciding what to pick up and what to try to resell. So thank you for joining me. Consider subscribing if you want to be alerted when um, more videos get put out, my what solds, hauls, and these kind of what sold fast videos. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.